All right, so let's solve a couple of puzzles. The first one is how to get into the diving supplies closet. This closet has a pretty sophisticated lock on it. Probably to keep out nosy guests. There you go. Now inside the diving supplies closet, we have some walkie-talkies. Hey, I found some walkie-talkies. We should carry one with us at all times. That way we'll always be in touch. Here. Thanks. Good idea. We have some diving equipment. This scuba gear might come in handy. Good thing I'm up to date on my diving certification. And we also have a mysterious map. There's a map in here. That's weird. What is? I've solved the case in every spot that's marked on this map. You think the Gibsons have been keeping tabs on you? Kind of looks that way. Probably just a coincidence. Hmm. That's a very mysterious coincidence, if you ask me, George. And over here, we can open the shed using the key that George gave us. We can pick up this thing, which will help get the, uh, you know, golf cart working again. Here are the instructions. And we also have... Where they store the sails. We also have another puzzle about the sail bin. Now see those flags that are on top of the sail bin? Have you seen them before? You've seen them right here, remember? Each flag represents a different number. So you just insert the numbers that the flags stand for onto the lock. To open up the sail bin container, I believe the combination is 79204. That's 79204. And there you go, that's how you get the sails for the sailboat. And now let's solve this puzzle. You put the thing you found in the shed on top of it, and there you go. Now, the goal of the puzzle is to get all six of these containers to equal 100. So let's turn on the uh, bottom left one and fill it up. As you can see, we filled it up with uh, 60 milliliters. Now, if we opened up two different ones, each one would be filled up with 30, because 30 plus 30 equals 60. And if you open up three, each one is going to be filled with 20, because 20 plus 20 plus 20 equals 60. And if you open up 4, they're all going to be filled with 15, because 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 equals 60. So there you go. Every time you fill it up, it's going to be filled up with 60. So using that information, you can solve the puzzle, because you know that you can fill each one of these tanks with either 60, 30, 20, or 15. Let's fill them all with 15 to get them to an even number. Okay, so these are 30, which means they need 70. Now 70, that means you're going to have to give them a 20, a 20, and then a 30, right? No other way to get 70 with the various numbers that we can fill them up with. So let's give them a 20, a 20, and this one is full. So let's give these two a 30. And last but not least, let's fill this one that's 40, let's fill it with a 60. That should do it. And there you go, now you can use the golf cart and drive it around as much as you please. Now for senior mode, I did the exact same thing. I don't like odd numbers, so I turned them all even, all four of them. And looks like this one here in the bottom right, it's 90. Looks like it only needs 10 to fill up, and the only way to get 10 is by turning on all 6 at once. Because 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 60. Alright, so what's here? We have uh, two 80s. Only way to get an 80 filled is by giving it a 20. Now 20 is having three valves on at the same time. So let's make it this one, that one, 
and the one here in the upper right hand corner. Now you'll notice we have two valves that equal 70. 70 here and 70 there. The only way to uh, fill a 70 up to 100 is by giving it 30. And you get 30 by having two valves turned on, because 30 plus 30 equals 60. And finally, the last one here in the upper left hand corner. Let's just fill it up completely. And there you go. Now you can go riding around in your golf cart however much you want. But before that, we have another puzzle here. We have the puzzle of fixing the bat battery problem. Looks like this needs to be put together. Now the battery puzzle is easier than you would think, because the batteries will snap into place if you're in an area that the batteries can go in. You right click to rotate the batteries. This one doesn't fit anywhere, as you can see, except in the lower right hand corner. Let me get all the let me get all the other batteries into place. Ooh, did you hear what Cuckoo just said? Samantha, this is Justin. That's a reference to characters in Nancy Drew, Phantom of Venice. Now I wonder what Justin is doing. I wonder what Justin is doing talking to Samantha. That looks right, but I still hmm. need a battery. That's very interesting. Okay, like Nancy said, you still need a battery in order to uh, find any bats. And I should have mentioned this earlier, but I did not. You need to get a shovel from the shed. Now, why do you need the shovel? It's right here in the instructions. The kidnappers say that you have to go to Shark Cove, then you have to dig something up with your shovel. So let's go to Shark Cove right now. It's the area that's closest to the uh, ecotourism resort. And as you can see, it's called Shark Cove because this sort of looks like a dorsal fin. And over here we have the uh, puzzle, which involves digging up the uh, hidden buried treasure. I think these kidnappers have been watching too many pirate movies. And let me show you how the walkie-talkie works. George, can you hear me? It's Nancy. Over. I hear you. Got something? Over. No. Do you? Over. When I do, you'll be the first to know. Over. Sounds good. Over and out. All right, so that's how the walkie-talkies work. You can switch in between Nancy and George. Well, hold on a second. What's that? The fighting manatees. I love the fighting manatees. Go Paseo Del Mar High School. But more importantly, we have some fruit. You know who wanted some fruit? That's right, it's Cuckoo the Parrot. Oh, come on. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah. My name's George, remember? Cuckoo on tree! Cuckoo on fruit! Fruit, fruit, fruit! Not this again. Cuckoo on tree! Cuckoo on fruit! Fruit, fruit, fruit! I hear you. Want to see a trick? Yeah, Cuckoo, you're being a little bit loud. Not if it involves your squawking your lungs out again. A trick for a tree! A trick for a tree! Quid pro quo! So if I give you this guava, you'll do a trick for me? Treat first! Treat first! Cuckoo on treat! Okay, let's give Cuckoo a guava. And let's see her trick. Made and tasty! Presenting Cuckoo the Great! Whoa! Is Cuckoo great or what? That was a pretty neat trick, I guess. Now, if you're playing on junior mode, Cuckoo will also give you hints as well as doing tricks. But because I'm in senior mode, all I can do I is watch more tricks. Treat first, treat first. Cuckoo want treat first. All right, here you go, Cuckoo. Made and tasty. Here's your trick. Oh, awesome. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. You're right, Cuckoo. You totally rock. And now, let's go back to Nancy. Nancy, are you there? It's George. Over. Hey, George. What's the word? Over. You okay? Over. Just trying to find that treasure. Over. 
You can do it, Nan. Over 